What is going on everybody? My name is Bearage. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you another how to unlock video in which we are going to be looking at the brand new foot birthday Hansa Chowdhury. We are going to look at the player's stats. We're going to look at the objectives that we need to complete in order to unlock him. And then I'm going to build a team that will allow us to unlock him as fast as possible. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. On the screen for you now is Hamza Chowdhury's brand new card. He's had his weak foot upgraded to a five star, which is fantastic for a CDM, especially if you want them to play a pivot role. He has three star skill moves. The skills aren't necessary on a player of uh, this position. Um, they're obviously a nice um, luxury to have, but it doesn't completely kill the card. He's 5'10 and he has medium high work rate. If we go and look at his base stats, he has 80 pace, 68 shooting, which is quite low. Uh, 80 passing, which is nice, particularly with the 90 short passing. He's got 80 dribbling with decent enough agility and balance. It's pretty average across the board. Um, and then he has 87 defending with a big 90 stand tackling and then 88 physical with uh, 88 stamina, 84 strength and 96 aggression. He's a very angry boy. He doesn't have any traits. I probably recommend slapping a shadow on him in order to boost that pace and defending as high as possible. Um, and then you could probably play him anywhere from centre back to CDM. Now let's have a look at the objectives that we need to complete in order to unlock this card. So the first one is we need to assist five goals using CDMs. We need to score three finesse shots with players with a minimum of a four star weak foot. We need to score 11 goals using Premier League players. We need to win eight matches and we need to score in 14 separate matches using English players. All of these have to be completed in the managerial masterpiece foot friendly game mode. It has now been changed so that you can have a 79 rated squad. You're still only allowed a maximum of three silvers though and no bronzes. So into the squad builder, the first thing that I'd recommend that you do is that you pick a formation that has two CDMs in it so that we can complete the assist with a CDM objective. You could also go for one that has three center mids and convert them all to CDMs. Make sure that the players that you put in these uh, positions are actually CDMs because if they're center mids, it won't count. The second thing you wanna do is make sure that on the bench, that you have three 65 rated silver players and four 75 rated gold players to bring the rating down as much as possible and make sure that you can put as much rating into your starting squad as possible. If you're looking for players that are low rated but usable in game, I'd look no further than the uh, four that I've got on my bench right there. They are fantastic all over the pitch, can very diverse, can use them in a number of positions um, and they're absolutely fantastic. So do that that's your starting spot now starting at the back because the game mode has been upgraded to 79 rated it means that we can put some slightly better players in the defense but we do not want to up the rating too much so we are going to put nip pope in just because he is a fantastic goalkeeper on this game and then we're going to play fredericks and right back because he's low rated and very quick we're going to have gomez and nathan akers two center backs again because they're fairly low rated obviously gomez is rather overpowered both very quick and then at left back i'm going to go with van arnholt again because he's quick low rated he's actually very good on the ball as well so that's what i've gone with for the back line then the two cdms that i'm going to be using are alan and fred and both of them again very quick very good at tackling and most importantly very good at passing should definitely help us complete that assisting with the cdms then as we move into the front four of this team, the three most important objectives that we're going to look to complete are score three finesse shots using players with a minimum of a four star weak foot, the score 11 goals using the Premier League players and the score in 14 separate matches using English players. In order to complete all three, I'm going to use Ollie Watkins and Marcus Rashford up front. Um, that way, if one of them scores, all three objectives uh, get one thing ticked off immediately. The main reason I want to do that is because some people still play goal and goal in these objectives. Totally fine for them to play that way, but obviously that can be a bit annoying for us. means that we don't complete as much in each game. So I want to make sure I'm maximizing my time and completing as many of the objectives as possible in as short amount of time 
as possible. And then in order to finish the team, I've just gone with the inform Trossard because I had him in my club. I was doing some inform and uh, man of the match investments, uh, some longer term ones. And then I've got a red 87 Mares out there as the right mid. He's actually going to play Cam in game. Um, I'm aware that obviously not all of you will have that Mares, but you will have other players that are 87 rated or around that area. So you can reduce players in order to fit in the players that are good for you. He's basically just there to show you that there's plenty of rating left in this team. And then if you're interested in the custom tactics, I've been playing a 4-3-1-2. Um, I'll leave a link to the video down in the description so you can go and uh, copy those. But there you can see how it would line up in game and how I uh, am going to be using it. So there you have it. Hopefully this helps you out. If it does, then I'd really appreciate it if you left me a like. Feel free to comment down below if you have any problems or you want to discuss the objective with me and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. And uh, if you want more videos like this one, then uh, consider subscribing as I plan to do a new one every time a new objective is released in FIFA. But this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Betteridge and I will catch you all next time.